Today we're going to talk about the return of serve. There are several keys to have a great return of serve. First tip I'm going to talk about is making sure you're on your toes. And also being in a low crouched position so you can be very explosive moving out to the ball. Now let me show you that ideal position. So as you can see, I'm crouched. I'm ready to pounce. The next thing is knowing when to split step in that ideal position. So you want to split step right before the server makes contact. Now that's important because as the server is making contact with the ball, I can then push off diagonally in either direction and to make good contact. So I'm going to show you a little bit right now how to do that. And you can see how much court I cover when I split step correctly. So you can see when I'm in that crouch position and I split step correctly, I can really cover about two to three feet outside either line to make a great return. And it's important, as you see, if I see that it's going in my forehand side, as I'm landing, I push off with that left leg. That allows me to cover about three to four feet. If I see that it's going to my backhand side, as I land, I push off with that right leg and I've covered another three feet. Another really important key is that I like to focus about three feet above the server's head. A lot of players, they focus too much on the actual server and his body position. And by focusing three feet above the head, it allows me just to track the service toss right away. So as soon as that toss goes up, I'm focusing on that spot, and I can track it right into the strike zone and make good contact. So positioning-wise, on the first serve, I like to stand about two to three feet behind the baseline. That gives me a little more time, you know, because most players have much bigger first serves than second serves. On the second serve, I like to stand about two, I'd say two to eight inches in front of the baseline, and then I'm going to shade over a little bit. And I'm going to show you both positions, because on the second serve, most opponents love to hit their second serve to your backhand. So you can kind of cheat over a little bit and make them try to serve to your forehand. So I'm going to show you both positions now. So that would be the first serve. You can see I'm about two feet behind going out to the forehand. Now I'm going to go over and, and uh, hit a forehand return. And now I'm going to show you the second serve return. I'm going to stand a little bit closer, and I'm going to be able to be in a more advantageous position to be aggressive on the second serve return. So as you can see, it's two distinct different positions, but it's a different positioning in the core because I have to adapt to where the server is serving and put myself in the best position to hit a great return. So on the second serve, I want to be a little more aggressive. First serve, I'm trying to neutralize the server serve because most servers, they serve you know, anywhere from 95 to 140 miles an hour depending on what level you're playing at. So it's really important being in, on your toes, being in a crouched position, being able to move diagonally, explosively, and getting the ball back, back to neutral on the second serve, being aggressive and putting yourself in an advantageous position moving on into the point.